Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're doing set notation and some Venn diagrams. Okay, so firstly, um, uh, we have subsets. Um, so we have the set A, which includes the numbers just 1 and 2, and then we have the set B, which includes these numbers, and the set C, which includes these five numbers. Okay, so circle the ones that are true. A is a subset of B. Uh, so if it's a subset, then all the elements of A are also in B. Um, so here we have 1, 2 is in A, and 1, 2 is also in B. So yes, this is a subset. And the next one, uh, if you look closely, uh, actually B and C have exactly the same numbers in there. So C is a subset of B because everything in C is also in B. Um, and that means A is also a subset of C. B is not a subset of A because, well, B has five elements and A has two elements, so that's impossible. A is a subset of A because everything in A is also in A. That's kind of obvious. And B and C are actually equal, so they are actually subsets of each other. Um, so let's look at part B. Every set has at least two subsets, itself and the null set. List all the possible sets of A, B, C. Okay, so yeah, like like I said, all, the null set is always included, so that's a set with no elements. Okay, also you can use this symbol. Um, then the subsets are this, you could have just A, just B, or just C. You can have A, B, you can have uh, B, C, you can have A, C, or you could have A, B, C. So there are eight in total subsets, okay? In general, uh, if you have n elements in a set, the number of subsets is actually two to the power of n. Okay, next is a proper subset. And unless the little line is not there, that means uh, they can't be equal, okay? So like everything in M is also in P, but they can't be equal to each other. Okay, so in that case, we have the same sets as before, um, and some of them are still true, like A is a subset of B, but uh, C and B are equal, so this, they're not proper subsets of each other. But A is a subset of C, and I believe that's it. Okay, and the proper subsets would be all the ones we listed before, except uh, this one here wouldn't be included, so there'd be seven proper subsets. Okay, next we have um, this symbol here, which means the complement of a set. Okay, also read not A, so all the elements there are not in A. Um, so we have the universal set is all these numbers, and then A, so we'll represent this A with a circle, and then this is the universal set. A has 5, 7, and 9, and then everything that's not in A is out here, 1, 3, um, 11. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, so then the set not A is 1, 3, 11. Okay, so let's look at uh, the next example. We have four sets here. Um, so we're going to look at the intersection. It's called the intersection. The intersection of M and T. So those are elements that are in both the set M and the set T. So we have here we have one, three, five, and here we have two, four. So there's actually nothing in common. So we can just say that's the empty set. Okay, is on the intersection of M and T. This is the intersection of M, A, and H. So things that are in all three of them. So let's check it out. 2 is not in both of those. 4 is in M, A, and H. So it's in all three. 6, nope, 8, maybe. 8, 8, 8. And I believe that's it. So there's two elements in the intersection of all three of them. Okay, next we have uh, union. Okay, so the union is uh, basically putting the two sets together. So everything that's in S or E is in this set. Okay, so any element that's in S or E goes into the union set. 
So basically I'm going to list all the elements in S and E. So 1, 2, 3, 4, oops, I'm looking at the wrong one, it should be S and E, not S and T. So we have, let's start with the smallest one, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, those are all in E. And let's look for the extra ones in S, we have 5 and 7 is also in S. So now let's look at all three of them. So the union of all three of them is negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. We have a 4, we have a 5, we have a 6, and a 7. So it's all these numbers are in the union of all three of them. Okay, next, uh, this is the universal set. And we're going to make a Venn diagram representing this. So the universal set is a big rectangle. A and B we can represent with Venn diagrams, which may have an intersection here. Um, so in A we have a 1, in B we have a 2. 3 is in common for both of them, so that goes in the intersection. And then for 4, that's just in B. And then 5 is just in B. 6 is over here. 8 is in the intersection. Okay, now the universal set has maybe other numbers that we have to include. So there's a 4, 5, 6, 7 is out here. Let's just double check. There should be 8 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Good. Yeah, that's a U there. It looks like a 4. Okay. So B, the Venn diagram for part B, looks like this. Okay. Um, a. B, so we have, well, let's look at the intersection first. We have 3, 8, and 6 are in the intersection. Here we have 1 and 7. And here there's nothing. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, so that's, the, um, that's the Venn diagram for that one. Okay, let's look at shading some Venn diagrams. This is not A, union B. Uh, those are things that are not in A or they're not in B. Okay, so, let's, so basically we shade all of this one first and then all of this one for a union. So let's label this A and B. Not A, um, probably shade this in red. Not A is everything that's outside of this circle. So I'll shade all that. Okay, that's not A. And B, so we shade everything that's in B, so this is that, right? So this is not A, union B. Uh, here is A, intersect B, and then the whole thing's in brackets, and this is a not, yeah? So if we were to shade A, A intersect B is just the intersection here. Okay, A intersect B is just the intersection. So elements that are not in the intersection is everything else. So let's just shade everything except for that that intersection part in the middle. Okay. So we shade all this except for this little white part here. Okay, uh, the union of not A and not B. Um, so here's A. I'm going to write that, yeah, A and B. So let's shade, for union you shade everything, so let's shade not A first. Okay, not A, and this is not A as well. All this is our elements that are not in A. Uh, not B, our things that are not in B, so also this is not in B. So basically shading everything except for the, the intersection. So actually these two are equivalent, right? They are actually equal to each other. Uh, here we have not A and not B. Okay, the intersection of not A and B. Um, so, if I were to shade not A, recall I would shade everything out here. And not B, I would shade everything outside of B, right? So. The intersection of not A and not B is 
just the outside of both these circles. Right? This is the intersection of not A and not B. This is what you would shade in common with not A and not B. Oops. So actually you can see that's like kind of equivalent to A union B. Oops. A union B. Same thing. 